Hello everyone, Brian here. I recently listened to the audiobook version of Milk and Honey by Rupi Kaur. And of course, I did read and review the physical book a while ago. I want to say sometime last year. Uh, but I decided to listen to the audiobook because it's read by the author, the poet herself, and I figured it would be a different experience, and it definitely was. Uh, I liked that it felt like more of a performance piece instead of just, you know, words on a page. And I mean, not that I didn't like it. I mean, even in my other review, if you want to check out my other review that I did of the physical book, I'll provide that link. Um... Of course, initially when I first read it, to me it just came, it reminded me of like some kind of stream of consciousness kind of style of writing, uh, and I am a, a fan of that style of writing. And, uh, and at the same time, too, I also like that it seemed to be somewhat of a glimpse into the feminine mind. Uh, not a thorough glimpse. I believe I mentioned. In my other review too, that I don't, I don't consider it to be a thorough glimpse into the feminine mind. Uh, just you know, a short glimpse, and uh, yeah, I mean, I like that. You know, it's divided into the different sections, and uh, actually, after listening to this to the audiobook version, to me, it seemed to be it's much more. Uh, more autobiographical than anything else, which I believe it is. I mean, I, don't know, I guess because the first time I had read it, uh, I, I it was unclear to me as to whether or not it was a complete work of fiction or if it was based on some kind of actual event or events. And But this time when I listened to the audiobook, I got the impression that it is that a lot, at least, I don't know, at least maybe more than half of the poems in this collection are, in fact, based on uh, different real-life experiences that the author, the uh, poet herself, has experienced. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, you know, ultimately, I think I would still give it the same rating, 4 out of 5. I think that's what I originally gave it I don't remember it's been a long time since I watched uh, my first review of it uh, yeah I mean you know, it's just in fact I mean recently I gave away my copy of it because I had a giveaway for it and even though because I you know I figure really only a handful of poems I only consider it a handful of poems and it's to be really profound, at least for me personally. I'm not saying that I don't think that that, they, that this entire collection isn't profound at all. I'm just saying for me personally, I only found a handful of poems to be really profound. And yeah, you know. I mean, hey, obviously a, a lot of people like it. It's you know on the uh, bestseller list or something like that. <laughs> so. Yeah, and I know that uh, the same poet, she's got another collection out. I've kind of been reading through that, so... I guess maybe I'll do a review on that one, too. So, yeah, I'll do it for this review of the audiobook version of Milk and Honey by Rupi Kaur. I hope that's how you pronounce her last name. If not, let me know. I don't, I don't know. That's... So thanks for watching, thanks for listening. As always, until next time, don't forget, keep it real, keep on rocking, and peace.